Galicia, in the northwestern corner of the Iberian Peninsula, has a fascinating history which has many Celtic connections. Galicia, and the Iberian Peninsula in general, is often cited in origin stories as the region where Celtic tribes sailed from to settle an island and the British Isles. The name of the region comes from the Romans, who referred to the Celtic tribes of the Iberian Northwest as the Calaiche. Over time, Calaiche became Galaiche. Various tribes made up the Galaiche, including the Colerni and the Bracari. The people of Galaiche spoke the Galatian language, also known as Northwestern Hispano Celtic and Continental Celtic language. A defining feature of this Celtic civilization was the fact that they lived in hill forts, resulting in them often being referred to as the culture of hill forts or the Castro culture. Today, Galicia is still home to more than 2,000 hill forts. Galatians identified themselves by their hill fort and the king of their area. In relation to their religion, we know that the Galatia worship numerous Celtic gods, including Coventina, the goddess of wells and springs, who was also known as the goddess of abundance and fertility. Nabia, the goddess of waters and rivers, with the river Navia in Galicia still bearing her name. And Lugos, the god of prosperity, trade and craft occupations, who was often depicted as having three heads. During the Second Punic War between Carthage and Rome from 218 to 210 BC, we know that some Galatian troops fought alongside the Carthaginian general Hannibal. The various Celtic tribes of the Galatia ruled this corner of the Iberian Peninsula for centuries, until the Roman conquest of Iberia began in the 3rd, 2nd and 1st centuries BC. As well as being interested a large sphere of influence, Rome was also interested in the lucrative gold mines of the region. Although I will address the Roman conquest of Iberia in more detail in a future video. In the 5th and 6th centuries AD, there was another Celtic infusion into Galicia. As the Anglo-Saxons settled what would become England, many Celtic Britons fled to Galicia, as well as to what would become Brittany and France. This settlement in Galicia was known as Britonia. It is thought that these Britons practiced a strong Christian faith. It is curious that the common Britonic Celtic language of these Britons did not seem to take hold in Galicia, yet it did take hold in nearby Brittany and France, which is why the Celtic language of Breton is still spoken in Brittany today. Perhaps these migrants from Britain were better assimilated into the Galician culture of the time than their fellow migrants in Brittany, with Galicia controlled by the Germanic tribe of the Subi at this time and then the Visigoths. Celtic influence is still present in Galicia today, however, particularly in music. A traditional instrument in Galicia is called the gate, a type of bagpipe. The gate was known to be used as far back as the 9th century AD, and is still used today. The two main languages spoken in Galicia today are Galician or Gallego and Spanish. Galician is an Indo-European language of the Western Ibero-Romance branch and is spoken by more than 2 million people, mainly in Galicia. The Galician language is closely related to Portuguese, as both languages evolved from Vulgar Latin and for a time in the 13th century formed the Galician-Portuguese language before splitting into separate but related languages. Galician also contains some Germanic, Celtic, Spanish and Andalusian Arabic influences. The Romance nature of the Galician language is a result of the Roman conquest of the region over 2,000 years ago. Today, Galicia is an autonomous community of Spain 
and is home to around 2.7 million people.